Good morning, guys. I'm on the way to the salon. We're just stopping off quickly so Bobby can give his bike in. But I'm going to head to the salon in a minute. Go get my hair colour done because it is long overdue. Um, yeah, full head of colour. Get it cut as well. That's why I just quickly washed it this morning because I didn't want to go with like dirty hair. And it was dirty. <laughs> well, not dirty. It just had a lot of stuff in it, like hair serum cream and stuff you know so um i thought let me just wash it quickly so that's done getting my nails done as well today so it's a full salon day today got my laptop so that i can get some work done hopefully because i do have quite a bit to do i'm gonna see hopefully if they can just do one hand at a time you know rather than just both of them out so that it's kind of like wasted then so yeah, I am uh, kind of pretty excited to kind of just sit today and kind of get some work done. I am going to ask if the therapist is free to do a just a little back massage maybe while my hair colours on, so that will be good. I really do fancy a hot stone massage, but I don't think I've got the time today because my hair is going to probably take quite a while. <gasps> yeah, what else am I doing today? Nothing. Hopefully we've got time to pick up a coffee because I fancy coffee I'll just take that with me and just sip on that during the day because I've just had my lunch early it's 11.35 it's not really lunch I had my lunch well yeah that was my lunch that I just had so I probably gonna be starving later now I'm currently stuffed but yeah so that is a situation guys I also went for a bike ride this morning I know well done to me. It has finally cooled down. Summer is kind of like sizzling out and it's a bit more like kind of breezy, which is great. Yeah, I went on my bike ride, did about, I think 40 minutes. I've decided that when I ride now, cause I end up getting really fed up of it cause it starts to like feel like a chore. And that's why I have these breaks in between. Like I start and I'm really good at it. And then I just take a break and then I just don't start for ages. And I feel like I previously was trying to like tick it off, like, oh, I've got to do a bike ride or, oh, I need to do 10K, you know? I'm not doing that now. Like this morning, I didn't even look at it. I just put it on my Garmin, like that, you know, I'm out doing a bike ride. Didn't look at how many kilometers I've done. Didn't look at the time or anything. Well, I did look at the time, but I wasn't obsessing over it. And yeah, did 40 minutes, enjoyed it. It was nice and cool. And then the minute it started feeling really hot, I just kind of headed back home. I'm quite proud of myself that I did that today. And I think I'm gonna continue doing it that way. You know, where it's like not focusing so much on time and distance and just focusing on actually doing it, making that first step. I feel like I was gonna say something and I lost my trail of thought. I'm hoping that I can get a bit of writing done today because I've got a couple of articles to write for Confessions of Creative and I'm really loving the feedback I'm getting from, from you guys. Like, I don't know if it's actually you guys, because obviously uh, you know, it might not actually be all of you guys, it might be different people, but you know, I'm really loving like what I'm hearing, what I'm reading from you guys, like your comments and everything and how you're responding to these, you know, editorials that, and articles and everything that I am writing and yeah it's just nice to know that i was gonna say you guys read what i meant by that is nice that you enjoy that side too because that's i guess kind of like not a lot of people kind of really focus on newsletter style things or like online publications and things like well not online publications because i feel like that's kind of the world has kind of gone that way anyway you know like from print but i mean like newsletters like getting them through in your email and stuff like that i would really like this site to become something that people just go to as opposed to waiting for the newsletter to drop into your inbox so you know anything that you could do to help like sharing the page that would be awesome i would really really appreciate it another thing that i wanted to ask you guys which i hope you don't mind is my beauty youtube channel I would really love to kind of get it circulating a bit more. So if you guys feel comfortable enough to share that, to share it on your stories on Instagram or anything like that, like so that people that you know maybe can head over to that channel and check it out and hopefully enjoy it. I would really, really truly appreciate that because I feel like we've kind of been like stuck at kind of like 400 and something, 100,000 
and I would really love to get us moving again you know like so that we can get to hopefully that get to that half a million mark and then get ourselves on the way to a million mark because that would be amazing either way not just because of the numbers it's honestly my main thing putting aside the numbers my main thing is wanting to just share how educational the channel is because I don't feel like there's many pages out there that actually do that so hopefully you guys can help and yeah let's head off now Hey guys so i have finished at the hair salon my hair color is done i'm super super happy with it it's a little bit lighter because that's what i was aiming for and it's a little bit frizzy at the moment because i, I said to her i don't want any kind of serum or anything in because then it lasts longer and yeah i got a cut done and happy happy days so i'm glad i get glad i get glad i got all that done today and i actually did manage to get some work done while i was there i didn't actually open my laptop at all because i couldn't get laptop stuff done anything that needed to be done on my desktop couldn't get that done because it was just really awkward like getting my hands done gone for short nails today i used to have these kind of nails all the time and i do really really love them so i'm gonna just see how they go and then maybe stick to these or maybe just go long for the next you know grow them again and not the next session but the next session after that maybe have long nails and uh yeah i'm really happy with everything as always they've done an amazing job and just went and did a grocery shop gonna make firecracker chicken tonight and rice excited about that and yeah gonna make that because do you know what it's wagamama firecracker chicken and they do a wagamama sachet it's like a waitrose that we have here well it's called spinnies but they do a lot of waitrose stuff in there too and they have this little sachet and it's a wag it's wagamama brand firecracker sauce and you can mix it in the calories are nothing half of that sachet which you can make for like chicken and rice for two people half of that sachet is like 53 calories and if you order a firecracker chicken from Wagamama it's like nearly a thousand calories it's crazy so yeah that's what we're gonna have tonight and that's about it really that's my day done not really a lot more that I need to do uh, what do I need to do I do need to take Nico for a walk so I'll do that and then I guess I will start dinner yeah we'll see how it goes